person who has been a very regular support on and off all the time and it is my Ram. Come here. In fact, uh, we have done the program for his entire team office also and he didn't come to introduce yourself as you see. Namaskar and good evening. I wanted to keep a low profile. So I've been here. I don't know Guruji as Guruji. I think he knows me more than me because he hailed from my same town where I come from and is my sister's classmate. So I think he knows me from my when I was even two or three years old. From that day I know Guruji. So he was a person who was known as one of the simplest person in my town and he was a person who was people love to be a friend with. But later when I came to Dubai, I was surprised to see him as a Guruji practicing yoga to the people. So he was a person from my childhood who was so simple and great. So as Guruji, after associating with him in Dubai, I attended one of his classes and I really got inspired by the way he was teaching. And actually I want, and to be frank, I am not a good yoga person, I never continued, I am not practicing it, but I make others practice. I hardly do yoga at all, but I force a lot of people to practice yoga and whenever people come to me and say they have problems, I say go to Guruji. So, this is the absolute truth. So, another thing which I, I am heading an organization called Touchwood in Sharjah, it belongs to the Bukhara group. We are constantly, you know that in Dubai, last four years, there's big development going on in Dubai. And our industry as a whole was, the, was going forward in a big way. So new, new, new staff were joining and I found the family atmosphere which we are having was lacking behind. So I thought, what's the way to get all the people together? Because each people were working in different direction. And as a whole, the unity, I was losing the unity. And I asked Guruji, let us do a session. Each time when more than 10 people join our organization, I make sure that one yoga class comes in. And then we all unite together. After that we become one family as a whole. That's what, and that was the thing, the growth of our organization is. Guruji, not, not, not only yoga, but a lot of other things join together as you all have already explained here. That was what we all experienced. I, actually, I went to the first session of his yoga class in Sharjah. After that, I have been blessed to have his second session in Touchwood and a third session also in Touchwood. So, I'm close. whenever I pass through Dubai, when I'm in Dubai, I just give him a call. Are you free? And if he's free, I just pop in and say hello to him for 5 to 10 minutes. He's always free for everybody. But I don't want to disturb him. I know how busy he is. So, that is my association with him. As Along with my life, I like to have an association with him and it's a great thing, you all, we are all blessed that we have a person like him in this world. I, we need more people like him in this world for all of us. Thank you. Um, I would like to request uh, Dr. Sitrut Khan to please come. And uh, Dr. Singh. Please come, Dr. Singh. Thank you. Uh, we have uh, Ravi Shankar. Ravi Shankar. Where is Ravi Shankar? Please come. And uh, before we... Please come, Srijit. Srijit is from Marine Biz TV. And in fact, um, we have the CEO, Mr. Sohan Rai, who, Roy, who has done the programs. And he's Srijit. And uh, Sohan Roy and Srijit today, they have actually have our programs on website. You know? They have this Marine Biz TV and the TV serials are coming regularly of our programs. We give the best by knowledge, exercises, breathing, everything we give. And now it's going on for the last seven months. So anytime you want to have the programs, talks, you can just log into Marine Biz TV and there's a user word and uh, username and password. You log in, you get all the programs on the website all the time, wherever you are in the world. So our programs are always there in the net and that is
is happening because we have wonderful people like Sohan and Srijit here. I would like to really thank him for their contributions and support. And we have Anupam also as a team member here. And before I come to I'd like to thank one and all of you to really come here, be with us and really thank you also now for all the support and being a host. And before that I would like to just uh, tell you to all just sit for a moment and have this meditation session. Then we will get into it. MSI Ship Management Private Limited Leading provider of one-stop high-quality marine services Offers a wide array of services from Technical ship management and crew management New building supervision, repair and engineering services Bunker brokerage Ship broking Ship agency Manpower supply Marine fuel services Surveys and inspection of ships MSI Ship Management Private Limited Client-focused, tailor-made solutions The team from Cleopatra In fact, uh, they have come with a very good offer for all our members I think Dr. Suresh will tell you All our members will be entitled to certain facilities uh, in Cleopatra in Wafi City so Rhythm of Life uh, members will have all this opportunity and please come Dr. Suresh. Thank you Mr. Sanjeevji. Thank you Dr. Papuji. My dear friends, it's a wonderful experience for us to participate in this grand function. I'm really surprised to see all of you in a very dedicated and uh, uh, motivated mood. Actually, I belong to the Ayurveda field. You know, Ayurveda and uh, this yoga has uh, some sort of uh, relation, very good relation. It is just like a big brother and I, I couldn't say that which one is the big brother and uh, <laughs> the small brother. But if you consider it the age, age-wise age says like, I don't know, Guruji has to tell the final word, but the Ayurveda says it's uh, almost 5,200 years back. It originated Ayurveda and all the all the systems of medicine and whatever it is in in the uh, in in our Indian culture it comes from Brahma. So in that way Ayurveda it's in the part it comes to the Atharva Veda. So after some time yoga also has a recordical history in this thing. So yoga yoga says it came in our uh, yoga that uh, particular synonym. It came from Yujigadu, Yuj, Yuj means the union. So just see the, the correlation, Yoga, Yuj and Union in different different languages. So Yoga says it's the union of body and mind. Same way the Ayurveda and the Yoga has uh, the uh, uh, symbiosis, a uh, symbiotic type of uh, union. So I just want to take that uh, opportunity, this opportunity to introduce Ayurveda and uh, Dr. Babu. Everybody has uh, uh, had uh, um, mentioned about and had a detailed discussion about the uh, uh, mind and the body and the soul, spirit, everything. So in, uh, in Ayurveda we say that uh, with, with that, uh, that term body, it has three aspects physical, mental and soul or spirit or whatever it is. So I don't want to elaborate this thing but I just want to tell that I belong to, uh, I am coming from Wafi and uh, it happened just like Mr. Sanjeevji said, it happened like that uh, the association um, um, I, with me and uh, Mr. Sanjeev and I introduced, I just want to introduce this great Guruji to our spa also to take the benefit of this yoga to our uh, uh, renowned guests. So he is there, he is taking classes for the people there and uh, it is, uh, so we just want to introduce our Ayurveda and uh, we have a great exciting offer, a, a loyalty program. So for that thing, I just want that commercial side just uh, to introduce and uh, explain to you, I just want to uh, invite uh, our spa manager, Miss Fiona Burke, in this uh, occasion. Thank you.
Good evening, my name is Fiona and I'm very new to Dubai and have only had the pleasure of having one of Dr. Sanjeev's yoga classes but I'm very much looking forward to joining your Rhythm of Life program. Um, as Dr. Suresh has mentioned, yoga and Ayurvedic have very strong connections and we wanted to let you know about our Ayurvedic department in Cleopatra Spa. We have um, issued loyalty cards, we have them all there for you tonight to take with you so you can take advantage of our Ayurvedic programs and treatments along with the yoga practices and um, we hope to, we look forward to seeing you all in Cleopatra Spa and the Rhythm of Life and thank you very much for having us Dr. Sanjeev and Dr. Babu, we are very privileged to be here and have connection with Dr. Sanjeev. Thank you, enjoy your night. Srijit wanted to offer something again to our members. Good evening all of you. We represent a television channel in Dubai. It's a maritime television channel. And we have a program in the channel called The Body and the Mind, which is sheet anchored by uh, Mr. Sanjeev. Uh, since our channel is a free to air television channel is it, and it's available on the hot part of the Thaicom satellites. Now, this program is simultaneously available on the net. You can just log on to www.marinebistv.com and you can see all the episodes, I mean, everything which he teaches. But for that, you require a username and password. I'll be giving it to uh, Mr. Sanjeev and he'll pass it on to you. And all the episodes right from 1 to 13, you've completed 13, is it? 15. Now, so you can watch it uh, uh, through a website. Thank you. Anyone having any questions, you can ask. We have time for at least five minutes. So if you have any questions or any queries, you can put across. And we have a team here. Doctors are here to answer also. Hi, I'm Radha Krishnan. I joined the 100th batch of uh, Rhythm of Life. Uh, and uh, this now three months now. I am not a regular practitioner. But I joined because uh, at that time I had some stress-related uh, pressure and uh, some kind of pain near the heart. Now, after, uh, after joining there uh, for the 10 day class, the second day, third day onwards I feel better uh, because the whole flat itself is energized I feel. But the same thing is not available at my home even though children play around and all. But uh, what I see now is uh, because of the crisis and there, uh, I think it affects everybody, uh, how the palpitation happens when the mind thinks we can't control because during the daytime we uh, we are in work we are we are in stressful conditions. How it affects or the chemicals are pumped into the body when we think and think and think of issues. The essence of the question is what happens when anyone has stress. I think this answer is important for everyone because everyone has stress. Um, People, whether they are students, doctors, engineers, uh, businessmen, gurus, I think everyone has stress. But it is how we process or metabolize it. Because if we don't do it the right way, what happens when the mind has anxiety, it produces catecholamines. Because that's the most ancient type of response of the body. If you find a stray dog or a cat and you throw a stone at it, it immediately, it either fights back or it flees. That, yes, that's a fight or flight response. That is the most primitive state. So when that happens, the body produces catecholamines. Adrenaline, noradrenaline, all of it is produced so that you get that boost and you handle the stress. But the flip side is, these are not good hormones either because when you are stressed, you need more sugar. They indirectly increase the sugar levels in the blood. So catecholamines, that's what they do. They increase the sugar levels. They increase the levels of insulin required to bring the sugar down and that causes insulin resistance. So when you have insulin resistance, you need higher levels of insulin to tackle the sugar in the blood. So what happens? If the state is prolonged, it leads on to things like diabetes and high blood pressure. So that cycle needs to be broken and that's what meditation and uh, relaxation techniques do. So if it's in the office, there are different things that you can do. Breathing is a very good one. Go, go wherever you have space if you can practice some of the breathing techniques there, that really help. 
or you can uh, uh, there are several techniques for relaxation Stillness of the body brings in stillness to the mind. Awareness now on the gross part, the body, the finer part, the breath, and now a consciousness is led to the subtler aspect. of awareness between eyebrow center and the navel awareness on the breath and to the finer points now between the navel and the eyebrow center awareness on four aspects awareness on the body awareness on the stillness of the body awareness on your breath and awareness on the psychic points between the eyebrow center and the navel Imagine a bluish white light at the navel slowly rising up to the eyebrow center as you breathe in and as you exhale the bluish bright light comes from the eyebrow center back to the navel absolute awareness on the body stillness of the body awareness on the breath and the movement of the bluish white light rising up from the navel to the eyebrow center and back from the eyebrow center to the navel absolute awareness immense cosmic energy flows from the top of your head pervading the whole body regenerating the body giving calmness to the mind relaxing the mind absolute awareness feel the coolness pervading the whole being as the cosmic energy flows into you the bluish white light going up and down from the navel to the eyebrow center and from the eyebrow center back to the navel as you intensify your consciousness you can feel now the bluish white light rising now to the chest and slowly coming up from the chest to the eyebrow center and from the eyebrow center back to the chest giving calmness the stillness of the body the coolness in the mind 
immense flow of cosmic energy purifying the entire body relaxing the mind enjoy the stillness enjoy the calmness feel the immense flow from the top of your head pervading the whole body continuous flow of the bluish white light now from your heart to the eyebrow center and from the eyebrow center back to the heart it becomes more and more attuned and now rising to the upper part of the throat and to the eyebrow center feel the bluish white light now risen from the throat to the eyebrow center and from the eyebrow center back to the throat feel the body absolutely still feel the stillness of the body feel the breath feel the immense flow of pranic energy life energy going up and down between the throat and the eyebrow center absolute relaxation of the body and the mind feel the stillness of the body bringing in stillness to the mind with immense flow of energy from the top of your head coming to you from the cosmos bringing in peace happiness calmness into your life slowly the bright light the bluish bright light merges into the eyebrow center giving more brightness to the eyebrow center bringing in focus into your life enjoy that stillness be in that wonderful state of calmness peace and inner joy enjoy that stillness thoughts may come in and go but observe the stillness in between the thoughts that stillness is your true personality the true being enjoying every moment of your life observing witnessing every aspect of life thoughts of fluctuations of the mind they come in and go feel the stillness in between the thoughts enjoy that stillness now we shall slowly come out of this meditation become aware of your breath feel each in going and outgoing breath feel your body now from the head to the fingertips and toes absolutely still become aware of your whole body 
You shall now slowly come out of this meditation. Looking down, slowly open your eyes and then close. Do it once again. Slowly open your eyes and then close. Do not raise your head. Now take deep breath, slow deep breathing. Do it three to five times, very very slowly, fully and deeply. And now, rub your palms against each other. Feel the warmth of the palms. Place them on your face in front of your eyes. Pass your hands all over the body, the forehead. both your ears the back of your head your face the throat the right and left shoulders both your arms press each arm up to the palms and to the fingers run your palms over the chest the stomach the back the mid back the lower back the buttocks Press your right thigh with both your arms, the right knee. Press your calf muscles with both your palms to the heels underneath of the feet, all your toes. Press your left thigh joint, the left thighs. The left knee is with both your palms. Press nicely the calf muscles. the ankles the heel the underneath of your feet and all the toes and now slowly open your eyes and come out of this meditation you know palming is very important what we did because you know we have on the left the mental energy or the negative charge right side is the positive charge we call it as in physics matter and energy we call it as sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves in yogic science we call it as mental energy and physical energy if you see your right side is positive this is left when the right hand touches it energizes all the meridian points of the body automatically you are energizing the entire body systems so palming is very good so i think we'll conclude i would like to thank all of you once again take care of your health the greatest wealth that we have got god has given us so wishing you all the best